According to Indigenous Services Canada, there are currently 34 long-term water drinking advisories in effect in 29 communities across the country. Kimberly Brown is Sim Shiam, a member of the Lacqualams Band in BC. She's also an advisory council looking for eight teams of Indigenous youth who want to solve problems their community may be having with their water. Um, so essentially it's just the opportunity for eight uh, communities to participate um, and solve their own water issues um, and it's judged by their own communities, um, not us. So it's very Indigenous led um, and Indigenous supported. The Indigenous Youth Potable Water Innovation Challenge can help teams with up to $20,000 to solve their community's water woes. The University of British Columbia's Rezo Centre, the Assembly of First Nations and the federal government are behind the program. Kimberly Brown says the goal of the challenge is to inspire and engage youth. To create kids who want to become water treatment operators, to create Indigenous youth who want to become water engineers or scientists, um, or anything to do with public works and really uh, develop water in their own communities or maybe other Indigenous communities across Canada. The Indigenous Youth Water Challenge Program is accepting applications online. Lee Wilson, APTN National News, Kitimat.